So now briefly I'm going to talk about goals. I have these goals staring down at the kids up in front and I tell them that these goals are up there and they're laughing at the kids telling them they can't do it. This first one is that all of us will become math all-stars and that's uh, within my class I want the kids to have an 80% average or above. And then our second goal is referring to the leap and I say all of us will earn basic or above. So that's a goal we had last year, my 8th graders, we had 88% at basic or above so that was pretty good. Looking over here, I told you I'd tell you more. So this is like a baseball scoreboard, and I break it down by class, as you can see. This is where they have the individual uh, tracking by aim, by skill for each kid. So I have students who actually keep track of this, and I allow students to remaster if they don't get it. So if checks aren't there now, they can work on getting them. And again, it has the baseball theme, which makes it kind of fun. Uh, the umpire is Bartlett, that's me. The batter is Mac 15, our school. So that is an individual tracking. Here's another one. This is the baseball field. I'll pan out a little bit. As you can see, it's in the 70s, 80s, 90s, and 100s club. Uh, if the kids, depending on how they do on their games, which are what I call tests, they get their names on there. I raffle them off for prizes like Davidson t-shirts, pencils, cups, etc. after each test. And it's just a way for them to get props and shout outs and the kids like looking up to see where they are. The kids also track in their binders their mastery of aims, which we'll give you a handout in a second. Here though is a, a little bit of team competition, team tracking. So this is the math leaderboard. It's kind of like if you would look in the paper and see uh, like a baseball division race. So it has Rice University is in first, they have an average of 86. Then Canisius College is in second, they have an average of 83. And it tells how many points back there are. As you can see uh, my seventh graders definitely need to pick it up but that I like having it there because it's a reminder to them and to me that we really need to work hard to get where we want to be because right now we're not near our goal. Uh, the students are in charge of maintaining this so it gives them a little bit of ownership and takes some of the responsibility off of me. And the last part of just J factor stuff this isn't tracking necessarily but if students uh, get a hundred percent on their tests their games then they get to sign the game ball. So this one was from the class of 2014. It's getting pretty full. And as you can see, I've got quite a few, a couple under there too, that have been filled up. And the kids really like that. It's kind of a bragging rights thing. Um, so that's some of the tracking stuff, as you can see. And I hope you enjoy some of the handouts, and I can be available to answer further questions.